Welcome back to another episode of Amazing Journey 2, Redstone Boogaloo. I have just completed Maze 1, and I am following this clue. The mayor would like a word with you in order to find Maze 2 in this town. So one thing that I meant to show earlier that I did not are these diamond structures. The Diamond Dog Mechanism, Spanish edition. So basically what it'll tell you in the guidebook at the beginning is that the value of gold is not as much as it was in the first maze, and that eight gold ingots is basically equal to one diamond. So you don't have to, but if you want, you can swap them out here. So I'm going to go ahead and put eight of them in here, pump the lever several times. Mucha gracia! Guau guau! I'm, I'm probably butchering that. I'm not good at Spanish. So, back to the main quest. I have found where the second maze is located. Place diamonds here. The admission is one diamond. So, I'm going to stick that in there, and that door is now open. Also, I get the diamond back. I'm not actually paying with diamonds. I'm just showing them that I have the diamond. I don't know who them is, but maybe we'll find out. Anyway, here we go. Got to do a little jump over here. Welcome to the Malicious Magma Maze. This maze is hot. Adventurers, like before, I am leaving behind a journal for those who have been brave enough to follow us. In case I haven't mentioned it before, leave any of my journals you find in their chests. It's a long shot, but there may be others out there following in our footsteps, and these journals may provide them with the same help they have provided you. I noticed some drones flying about earlier, similar to the ones we occasionally find spewing fire, or like the one back at home at the base of the Great Barrier. These drones seemed odd, though. Their flight pattern suggests that they may be malfunctioning. Rusty saw two of them crash into each other and fall into the lava. Eddie spotted one just hovering in place with an anvil on its head as if it wasn't sure what to do with it. What are these drones for? Are they working on something? And most importantly, what is causing their malfunction? Maze objectives. Fiery finish. Make your way to the end. Eyes bowl. Creep past the bug eye to eyes bowl to reach the diamond. Eight gold ingots. It's better than bad. It's good. Climb the random log floating over lava. I think that's a Ren and Stimpy reference. Vulcan Nightmare. In the volcano, a diamond can be found in a dark room. And touring the volcano. Choose the correct path to take a minecart ride on. Okay. So yeah, this is easily the most dangerous maze in this game. It's extremely easy to die and lose all your crap, so I'm going to have to be very careful. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak inside this volcano here and go through this uh, interesting little transport portal that's totally not a nether portal. Wow, I'm getting hit with the lag. Well, I made it. There's some stairs. Safe room. Marsh would definitely not survive here. Spare bed! Another spare bed. More spare beds. Spare beds! I don't think I have to tell most of y'all Minecraft players what happens when you sleep on a bed when you're in the nether, so... Yeah. Don't do that. Let's creep around here. There's a wall of lava blocking my path. And over here is right here, emerald. Boom. Grab it. So this is the quote-unquote drones that they're talking about that are spewing fire. It's those floating little head things. They were also the freaking uh, scrolls in that manor, uh, mansion maze in the last map. Oh, I almost just ran into that lava. Transit guide. Follow the light. Control your fates. Basically, they all have to be off. And... Little do they know that I'm actually going to go this way, because I happen to know that even though it said I would die, there's actually, wait, is it here? Yes, it is. There is a secret emerald over in this area. The rest of the levers need to stay off, or else you die. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Oh, boy. Oh boy. Okay. 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 Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Off that jump. Boom. Boom. Oh my. Oh gosh. Oh, that was close. Wait, I think I've fallen off of that area before because I was facing the wrong way. Grab that diamond. Going back out of this tunnel, and I'm going yeah, somewhere. Alright, so that's done. 
going to dump this stuff into the safe room. And then there is actually an area where you can leave the volcano. All right now we go down this long corridor and we find the exit portal. And this is a different one than the one we entered in, if that wasn't clear. Just gonna sneak out here and it is now nighttime. Time sure does fly when you're avoiding death. This is one of the most ridiculous okay, I bet there's something in the lava down there. There is. You just literally click the enter I have it set to the enter key, uh, but for most people it's right click. And there's a chest below the lava that you can just open without stepping into it. So already I've got all three emeralds. Yeah, if you lose your stuff here, like it even even if you don't die when you're in the lava, your stuff will likely spread out uh from your dead body and fall in the lava, which is extremely annoying. Here's that log that they were talking about. And right there is the diamond and some meatloaf as well. So now you actually got to go back through the volcano to get out of this area. All right, so I am back out of there. I am now going to continue with this mate. And did that fire, was that there before or did it literally just appear? Maybe it was there, I don't know. So yeah, the maze itself isn't super confusing per se, but uh, yeah, if you fall in, there's uh, there's going to be quite a bit of rage coming out of you, I can tell you that. Or maybe that's just me, I don't know. Here we have a lever, and I will reveal what that does. So it opened, there were uh, pistons behind those paintings, and it opened this little doorway to give us the first gold ingot and the curry chicken. Right, so that's gonna open that uh, paint little painting door right there. Jump across there. All right, gold ingot and a baked sweet potato. I'm just letting y'all know right now. If I fall in, I'm gonna be screaming. All right. Ugh. Yeah, don't be. That's the first spot where I died and lost all my stuff when I first played this maze. That's just and that's just so evil that he put that there. Is this one open? Yes, it is. Okay, I didn't even need to pull up for that one. Uh, all right, jump over that. Yeah, there's. This is. This is. I think this honestly should have been the last maze because of how freaking difficult it is. Like there are traps everywhere. Aha! There. All right, click that lever. That's open. I'm gonna go back real quick and get that. Hopefully I will not die in the process. All right, gold ingot and a potato dumpling. I don't think I've had that before. So if I go up here, stand on that pressure plate, that will open that painting door. And I just gotta sneak across here. That is gold ingot number five, a large hash brown. Okay, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Anything with potatoes. I pretty much love. And real potatoes, not sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are not my favorite. I think I gotta go all the way back here. Uh, like all the way back around this, this path to get that, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my. I'm, I'm really not trying to like purposely like just be loud and annoying for YouTube. I, this, this genuinely makes me tense up and freak out every time I think I'm going to fall in the lava because I don't I don't want to mess up. It's nice at the end to have a little neat row of treasure like I did in the first map and just not just not have to worry about having missed anything. Also, I'm going to tell y'all right now if the computer lags when I'm in the middle of a jump and that makes me die, I am switching game modes and cheating my stuff back in because I if I fall into lava that sucks for me, but if lag makes me lose, I do not accept that. Also, this is evil right here, Zayas. This is evil. If you were thinking about running across over to that chest, then... You... Ah, no! No, what? I, di oh, I didn't hit the button! How did that happen? 
I didn't hit it. I didn't run forward. What happened? That what happened? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Where am I? Oh, great. I'm all the way back over. Oh, that freaking sucks. I'm so mad. I can How did that happen? I don't understand. I was holding the shift key so I would not fall in the lava. Oh, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. I, I mean, I knew in my heart that it was very possible. And yeah, it makes for entertaining content for you guys. And I'll probably look back and be like, oh, I died in the lava. But man, I am pissed off. I I was talking about that trap. And I was like, oh, you got to avoid this trap. And in that moment, I fell in the trap. And I don't even have any food on me anymore. Because I had so much food with me. I should have put some of that in the ender chest, honestly. I'm an idiot for not doing that. But like, I had so much stuff. I At least I didn't have any diamonds. But I lost, it was six gold ingots, I think, that I had. I cannot believe that happened. Okay, so maybe, 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 maybe some of my stuff uh, went flying back into the land, but I really don't think it did. I'll go over there and check, but I highly doubt it. <sighs> yeah. It sucks, man. I, I mean, I really can't blame lag for that. I, I don't. I guess I can only blame myself. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say that I don't understand what happened, but man, that was so obnoxious. Do not disturb the ice bowl. No. So yeah, you got to avoid its eye. Its eyes are pistons, obviously. And what better time to chance that run than when I have no items? Okay, so on the the trick is not to get pushed off on the way back. Because that's when I actually have to get the diamond across and not, hopefully the shift key doesn't take a, take a little holiday when I need it the most like it did last time. Warpomatic 9000, good. Okay, save here so I don't have to go all the way back to the freaking other side of the volcano next time. So you don't have to go this way. There's platforms going up and down. You can just skip past it with that warp. I would highly recommend not going that way because it's freaking hard. Blueberry pie. I think I at least deserve some of that after what I've been through. Okay, yeah, so that's past that painting of torment. That's what I'm going to... I almost just fell in that lava. Past the Painting of Torment, that's what I'm going to call that area from now on. Every time I play this map, that is the Painting of Torment. Okay. Cherry Pie. Where'd you get that? I found it. Well, go find it again! That's a Spongebob reference. In case of drone uprising or drone malfunctions, press self-destruct button. Anvil Heavy must drop. Ah, there it is. Just hanging out up there. Not sure what the signs on the left are referring to, but we should probably do what they say. So hiding over here is the self-destruct button. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, I think the idea is that the anvil lands on that and activates the platforms. I have gotten through this maze before without losing anything, but let me tell you, it's not that common of an occurrence that I'm able to do that. Here's the broken droid facility. You don't have to come in here, it's just a cool little cool little room you can look at. Yep, they seem broken alright. Why is there a fire right in front of the door? The exit, use when done here. Oh, I'm done here! Trust me, I have been done here since I fell in that lava. Alright, so we end up back here again. I'm going to stick that diamond in there, and my grand total of two gold ingots in there. going to save the game. Changes it to uh, daytime, I mean. I'm done with this episode. I am just so... Ah, oh, man. I might record another one tonight. I don't know. But let me tell you, 
that maze, just be careful on that maze because you need it. You need to be careful. I'll see you all in the next episode. Don't fall into any lava in the game or in real life, especially not in real life. I don't know how that would even happen. I'm out of ideas. Goodbye.